Hi guys, welcome to confidentpreneur.com. This is Anthony Chansomuth, and today I'm very excited because I've got a really cool guy on the line with me. I've got Tom Cronin from the Stillness Project, and uh, we're going to have a little chat about stillness and what this project is all about. I actually spent 26 years in a job as a broker, in trading swaps and bonds for the banks. Uh, it was pretty chaotic and hectic. Um, it was 1987, it was the same year that Jordan Belfort from Wolf of Wall Street actually started his job. And you know, we had quite a lot of similarities. It was fascinating watching that film because I actually felt, I felt two things. I felt a sense of uh, discomfort and also sen a sense of sadness that I participated in a really debauched and decadent lifestyle. And that was what it was like when I started back in 87. You know, you had Wall Street out, Golden Gecko, Greed was good, lunches for wimps. And really, that was the mentality in the markets back then. It was just all about just screwing the system for as much as you could get out of it. And you know, we did some really, really crazy things. We had young, we were young kids. You know, we were like 19, 20 years old. We were given corporate Amex cards by our companies to just go and do whatever we want to entertain clients. And we took it to the ultimate limits. And um, you know, end up paying a price for that after a few years. You know, that extreme level of imbalance is just not possible to be sustained without experiencing some negative karmic effects. And you saw it in Jordan Belfort's life, you certainly saw it in my life, and what it led to for me personally was things like panic attacks, depression, um, really intense anxiety, uh, lots of fear, and you could see very similar sort of things coming through in Jordan Belfort that, you know, it just was so unsustainable. And um, of course, you know, we get given these cues to change and to, to adapt, which is that discomfort, that dis-ease is always that cue to, to make a shift. And, it took me a long time to learn to make that shift, but eventually I got to really a choiceless place where I, I, I couldn't leave my house. I was so overridden with anxiety that the idea of walking out of the front door of my house was just too overwhelming a proposition. And I was like held up in balls in panic and fear and, and loathing. It was just a, a real wretched sort of state. And that's when I knew I had to start making changes. You know. And once I started to learn meditation, what I found was that I increased my creative potential and I increased, increased my capacity to actually do more. It was quite a fascinating thing. Mm. By doing less, taking a little bit of time out in my day, I actually increased my capacity to do more. And the way this actually worked after studying this was that when we have a stress response to certain demands in our day, we tend to reduce the demands so that we reduce the stress response. You know, just getting, we're getting a little bit overwhelmed, tired, stressed. We tend to pull back because we reduce the cause of the stress, which is the demand. But when we reduce the stress response because we're just naturally calm, we naturally have more creative intelligence, we naturally feel um, less attached to the outcomes, we tend to increase or find that we can increase our capacity, we can increase our ability to do things. And you get these creative impulses, which compels you into action. And what I found was that it was a really fascinating thing that occurred. That I found I could do so much more, and I was getting all these creative impulses um, simply because I was reducing the amount of things that I was doing by just 20 minutes morning and 20 minutes afternoon. So that simple little shift in my day allowed me to completely increase, you know, increase quite substantially the things that I was actually doing. So I went from being a broker and developing properties to being a broker, developing properties, teaching meditation, running retreats, blogging, writing a book, producing a film, being a father, being a husband, being a mentor, all effortlessly without any of the stress responses. You know, I couldn't have done this 10 years ago. Technology just wasn't available. Um, you know, we can use Google Hangout. I can have 2 million people watching. I can have 5 million people watching. Uh, it's just amazing where technology has come. And the masses, so that's firstly we have technology. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there's a global inquiry. There's a global inquiry towards stillness and meditation now. This wasn't around 10 years ago. There wasn't a global inquiry 10 years ago. The world, meditation is going to be the next big thing. Like We've had a sort of surge in yoga over the last five years, and that was like a prelude to the next step. And um, I think 
and feel now that um, the world is ready to embrace meditation and we need to have systems in place that allow the world to experience meditation. So I'm just getting a really strong sense about the need of the time now and um, I've been teaching people individually but you know I have people all over the world contacting me now and they couldn't do that 10 years ago.